What is going on guys, it's actually here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be reviewing uh, the game between Wolves and Watford at Vicarage Road, which ended in a 2-1 win for Wolves. What a win. Um, uh, an unbelievable win as well. Um, and a, a massively important win uh, in the battle for 7th in the Premier League as well. Um... We started the game brightly. Um, we had a couple of opportunities to try and break Watford down, uh, but we couldn't quite um, we couldn't br quite break the Watford defence. Um, uh, we had a couple of other sh opportunities to cross, um, but they were dealt um, de dealt with well uh, by the Watford defence. Um, and then um, we had a quite a posi we had a quite a positive first half. Had a couple of opportunities. As I say, to try and break down the Watford defence, but then eventually, four minutes from half time, um, Raul Jimenez um, broke the deadlock. Um, uh, broke the deadlock, um, and we were one nil up um, just before half time, and a really good position to be in as well, just before half time, uh, getting a a, a um, much important lead, uh, especially away against a. Um, a rival um, who's also battling for seventh place, uh, especially away from home as well. Um, it was a very important lead and that we managed to get. And um, going into half time, we were 1 0 up, a very important lead, uh, as I say, um, against Watford away from home. Starting the second half, um, a, <laughs> a defensive calamity, to be honest. Um, a, a, um, a calamitous mistake from Ryan Bennett um, gave Watford the opportunity um, to equalise, uh, which they eventually took. Um, a good block, um, trying to prevent the goal uh, from, uh, I think it was a shot from Delafeu, a uh, good block, uh, recovery block from Ryan Bennett, but eventually it fell uh, to Andre Gray, who managed to equalise uh, four minutes into the second half. And it was back to square on, really. Um, ba back at 1-1. Um, we worked hard all, all first half, really, to, to amass that 1-0 uh, lead uh, going into half-time. Um, and then... Uh, and then um, a uh, defensive mistake um, led to the eventual, um, uh, eventual equaliser uh, by Andre Gray. And Watford were back on level terms. And uh, after that, Watford got a bit of momentum. Um... And they were attacking. Uh, they got the confidence was flowing through uh, the team, and um, they had a I had a good a good a good few opportunities uh, to try and take the lead, uh, but they couldn't quite uh, they 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 couldn't quite take those opportunities. They had a couple of corners as well. Um, they had a couple of corners as well. So some really up good opportunities uh, with confidence flowing uh, through their team. Um, after the equaliser to try and um, go on and go in front uh, but um, they didn't take uh, the chances that um, they managed to create um, and eventually 13 minutes from time uh, Diogo Jota put us um, back in front um, after Watford were pressing and pressing and pressing uh, it's something that's happened Really happened to us um, quite a few times in the past few weeks. We've been pressing, 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 especially in in um, especially a good example is uh, a couple of weeks ago against Southampton, um, where we were pr pressing, pressing, pressing uh, for an equaliser after we were two one down. Um, we were pressing, 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 and then eventually uh, our pressing uh, le led to conceding uh, a third against Southampton. Um, so that was a good example. Um, that that was a good example, and that's that's um, something that we really need to work on. We need to try and we need to try and get that balance um, because we've been pressing, pressing, pressing in the past few weeks, um, uh, trying to get an equaliser or or to to, to go go in front and um and sometimes um it ha it uh sometimes um um sometimes uh we've managed to concede from that um 
But this time, uh, it was Watford doing all the pressing. Uh, they were pressing and pressing, trying to get... Uh, trying to use their momentum from the equaliser to try and go um, back in front, um, but um, but instead this time uh, it was us who who caught Watford out, uh, and Diogo Jota managed to put us um, back in front, and that's the way it stayed. An important three points in the race for seventh. Um, ultimately, it, it it we could finish seventh and still uh, not get Europa League. Um, as if 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 Watford man- managed to beat Man Man City in the FA Cup final, um, and and we we finished seventh in the Premier League, ultimately that would um come to nothing in the end, uh, as Watford would still get the uh, Europa League space. Um, yeah, um, a really important three points uh, as we move on to fifty four, four clear of Watford now, and they've actually uh, Everton have um. Everton have leapfrogged uh, Watford into eighth place now, uh, so our, our closest challengers um, are Everton now instead of Watford. Uh, they moved down to ninth in the table, uh, but nonetheless, um, still um, a very important win, and we're still uh, four points clear of Everton as well because um, Watford and Everton um, are locked, uh, both locked on fifty points. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this match review, make sure to smash that like button. And I shall see you. Uh, I shall see you on Friday with a preview uh, of the Fulham game at home, which is the last game of, but last home game of the season. Until then, goodbye, guys.